Project X Cloud is the upcoming game streaming service from Microsoft. I've been hands on with it a few times in the past, but recently the service finally came to Germany where I currently live. Additionally, we've been lucky enough to get some hands on time with Xbox game streaming for Windows PC, or at least an early version of it. Here's a quick look at Project X Cloud and Xbox game streaming for PC and what you need to know about the future of the service. Project X Cloud handles tremendously well where I am, with very little latency between controller and reaction. That said, you can still feel like you're playing remotely, and it does take a little while to adjust, particularly in a 3D game like Gears of War. Naturally, some games handle better than others. The visually simplistic stylings of Superhot, coupled with its time-stopping shooter gameplay, make it a supreme choice for remote play. 2D games also seem to fare better with xCloud and Xbox game streaming, perhaps due to the way the picture algorithm works. It doesn't need to reproduce the entire image, thus perhaps reducing bandwidth requirements. For an example of how well xCloud responds, here's me shooting a rifle in Gears 5 Horde mode. As you can see, it works pretty damn well. I was also able to play through and win entire bleeding edge matches without any issues. The fact you don't really need precision aiming in some games like Overwatch and Bleeding Edge really does help, of course. But it wasn't long before I completely forgot I was playing remotely for content and just got immersed in the game. Beyond the live xCloud preview app, we got a look at Xbox game streaming for PC. This is a pre-release app designed for developers to test out xCloud on their games. We sneakily managed to acquire it for ourselves and found it to work extremely well on PC already, despite being pre-release software not meant for public consumption. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There are still some questions floating around about xCloud though. We know it will be part of Xbox Game Pass, but we don't know if it will be thrown in gratis or require an additional monthly fee. We also don't know how big exactly the library will be. We don't know whether it will be a fixed library of content or cyclical like Game Pass itself. We also don't know if you'll be able to access xCloud services for games you've purchased outright without having to use your home console as a streaming server. Either way, this technology is incredibly promising and makes up the next big battleground for big companies looking to expand their gaming empires. Google Stadia, Amazon, PlayStation and many others are already exploring getting into this space and as global internet speeds increase alongside the rollout of 5G, this sort of service is only going to become more popular. Microsoft is very well placed to do battle in this category with more investment than ever in its first party lineup. For more information on how you can play Project X Cloud, hit the link in the description. And if you've enjoyed the video, give us a like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.